about 30 seconds in, and only 29% of people that clicked on the video are still watching. And by a minute and a half, only 17% remain. Do you want to know how many people actually watched the entire fucking video? 5%. We live in a day and age where people are about as lazy as they have ever been. You could call it ADHD, which isn't even the right fucking term, by the way. If you have, like, a lessened patience with content because of short-form content, that's ADD because there's no fucking hyperactivity. Now, I'm probably going to make a video in the future discussing the other two main aspects of the three biggest reasons why doing anything on YouTube sucks anymore unless you've already made it. But I have to say, the biggest and most overlooked is that you, the viewer, are making things worse. And you might not even know it. And I don't blame you for not knowing it, because there have been a great deal of everything ever trying to keep it hidden from you, or trying to get it to where you don't care, or playing on the fact that you're more inclined to sit back and not care. While you may hear a lot of YouTubers complain about the algorithm, because the algorithm is a nightmare, it's atrocious, one of the biggest determining factors of the algorithm is the audience. Now, I want to put this out here right now. If you don't watch my videos, unsubscribe. If you do not watch the content I make because you like seeing content made from me, and you don't comment down below or engage with the video and actually want to be a part of this channel and community, then fuck off. Okay, that's a bit rude, but like, actually unsubscribe. Because the lighting changing is going to bug me. Because if you stay subscribed, and you see my video and you recommend it next time I upload, and you don't click on it, or you click on it for like three seconds and then click off because you're just disinterested. If you, if you subscribe for the FNAF content, you can you unsubscribe. Because the way YouTube works is that when they determine whether or not your video is able to be put out there and pushed, they usually go off your subscribers first. And when my subscribers don't click on my video or don't watch the video, YouTube thinks that I'm full of shit. That tells YouTube that I make bad content and shouldn't be pushed. Not to mention the fact that they then source it further to random people and depending on the type of people that my videos get sent to, who aren't subscribed, that could make or break it. And that's just random chance at that point. But the average YouTube viewer is so much less forgiving than ever before. The video is titled the way it is because, in truth, you probably don't care about small creators. And I know everybody likes to say that they, you know, hope and root for the small guy, the little guy, the, the, the fun fun little small channel that's trying to do its own thing and whatnot. But end of the day, you've been so conditioned to YouTube being this place to just get whatever you want at your leisure that you're no longer willing to give other people as much of courtesy. You're, it, it's no longer a website predominantly held with the interest of seeing creativity. It is now a website held with the interest of staying in your lane because that's what you're comfortable with. You no longer, people don't want to explore anymore. They don't want to find new content or see new creators or see new things because they're content with the stuff that they have. I bet you have a long list of accounts that you're subscribed to, a bunch of channels that you're subscribed to that you don't even fucking watch anymore. Unsubscribe from them. Because it gets to the point as well that you being a subscriber and not watching the videos means that other people who are subscribed and do want to watch the videos don't get it in their recommended feed because you didn't watch it. You, the viewer, have the most initiative in any given circumstance, and the fact that viewers anymore are completely apathetically lazy is... It's an, it makes YouTube a nightmare for creators, especially with the, the attention deficit that's going on. By allowing yourself to get your mind rotted by the short form content, the, the funny little autopilot, let it entertain your brain for you so you don't have to do anything, so you can just sit there and burn hours, it becomes incredibly harmful for everyone in the relative sphere. It becomes harmful for you because you probably have stopped enjoying a lot of the things that you used to. You probably don't do the same things that you used to anymore because you probably ran out of patience for it because you just sit there and feel instantly bored. You stop having fun with it. 
that's because of the short form content. I'm not saying this as just some, some fear mongering conspiracy theorist. This is something that I have proven in my personal life. I have had somebody tell me that they've lost interest in a lot of their passions. I take their phone, I show it to them, and I say, uninstall this, and I point to TikTok. I tell them to uninstall TikTok, they do it, and I just, I just say, I just said to them, you know, you only have to for like a week, you can have it back, but I just wanna see if having it gone for just, just a week will change anything. And in, but only days, they reported that they've picked up their interests a lot more. Because when you make it to where the TikTok, the funny TikTok is what you go to when you're bored, you end up with situations where there's nothing good to watch on YouTube. There's nothing good to do gaming-wise. You don't have the patience to deal with most things gaming-wise. You don't have the passion for most things that you usually do. Because your brain runs on dopamine when it comes to that sort of stuff. And if the things can't give the dopamine that your brain's now used to, then it just doesn't fucking work anymore. You are destroying your own entertainment experience all across the board. And it's so easy to fix, but you probably don't want to. And you know why? Because we're all creatures of habit. Well, I, I, eh, I could fix it, but I don't wanna, I'm too lazy. You know what that sounds like? A whole lot of bitching, a whole lot of excuses. And I'm not gonna sit here and treat you nicely for it because that's making my job harder. Or that's not even my job. It, at this point, it might not ever be my job. You know why? Cause don't fuck like you aren't letting me. <laughs> aren't, aren't letting me cook. You ain't letting me cook. It, it just, mm. I don't know what the fuck that was. It gets so just agitating. When all you want to do, you just you just make some videos, get an audience. I don't even care if this is made into a career or not. I hope, I, I would hope that that would be the dream. But like, all I want is just some a, a community that will interact with me. And I, and all I have is 700 subscribers and most of them are fucking dead. If I had 700 subscribers that actually subscribe to this channel to watch the content and keep up with the community, I would have 700 comments per every video. But my videos consistently struggle to break 20 unless I make it about a conveniently relevant topic. And my videos end up with 5% of the fucking audience watching all the way through. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little, I'm, I'm getting a little heated here, but it's aggravating. It really is. And if this doesn't apply to you, you're actually somebody that goes out of their way to watch videos of new creators and you don't just immediately click off the moment that they fail to entertain your obscene standards. This video isn't, you know, directed at you, obviously. I'm not yelling at you if you're not part of the problem, but if you're part of the problem, stop, stop treating that as if that's a good thing. The average user, there, there's a man carrying things skit that accurately summarizes a visual representation of what I'm talking about, where you could find a channel that really just does it old school, does it just like the way that YouTube used to be. And then there'll be people that, that they say they like older channels, they're just like, man, oh man, this video, oh, this YouTuber, it's just, oh, it really harkens back to the, to the way YouTube used to be, and I, t anyways, Mr. Beast, I guess that's, a, maybe that's not a relevant example anymore, uh, I think a, an accurate way to summarize where the source of my anger comes from is simply the fact that this channel was founded on the ideals and beliefs, and I'm sure I've said this before at some point, of just community first. I just want people who like the content and want to be a part of the community. But apparently, just, just you know, making videos with that general intention in mind but not never explicitly stating it isn't fucking working! Then I'm just gonna outright fucking say it. If you don't want to be a part of this channel and community, kindly remove yourself from the premises and have a nice day. It is such an astronomically far cry to even assume that YouTube is remotely community based anymore. The community on YouTube is kind of dying. And that's because the average viewer no longer actually wants to be on YouTube because of the creator sphere. They want to be on YouTube so that way 10 different people can talk about the same topic over and over again because they give in to their hyperfixations and never really branch out with anything outside of that. It becomes really really demeaning 
when your topic-based content gets completely, like, valued and favored monolithically compared to your original content skits or sketches. This channel was very much going to be part gaming, part sketches, part doing whatever the fuck else, but because of the fact that now I'm like I didn't want to worry about numbers but now the fucking viewers are worrying about numbers people who have actual fan bases and actually have a subscriber count or whatever are getting chastised by their by the actual community that actually you know speaks or comments saying they fell off if they ever just drop in numbers even though that's not even their fault that it's mostly the viewers fault well, okay it's only it's half the viewers fault because the other half of the problem is the algorithm but the fact that you make up half the problem is still something that you should change. And I know yelling at people to change because it's harmful to everybody is probably not going to do fuck all because of how like stacked against uh, anybody who does try to change the odds are. Because YouTube really tries to lock you in your lane now. This is something that the website itself even tries to do, which means it's a considered effort. And whenever people go to YouTube, they most likely don't want to put in fucking effort. And it's that kind of mentality that also makes it to where short form content and anything that has the ADHD spastic editing and whatnot, the kind of editing that makes someone like me want to rip my eyes out anytime I even attempt, it makes it easier to go to those videos because those videos mean you put in minimal effort. You don't have to do any mental work to get the jokes or to even process the fucking words on screen because your eyes and ears are getting the same information at the same time, meaning it's just instant transmission. There, there's there, there's no thinking behind it. You just sit there and quite literally mindlessly take in the content, f probably forget it the moment after. Like, I don't believe it's getting this bad, but the fact that the Pyro Live is actually putting, unironically putting Subway Surfers in the video anytime he has to explain something, it's dystopian. <laughs> Like, okay, I'm not going to sit here and put anything stimulating in the corner. I'm not going to sit here and make the editing, like, constantly so active that your brain doesn't have to turn on. If you don't want to pay attention to the fucking video, then you can just go away! Just get out of here! There's a button when you see me on your recommended. If you ever see me again, click do not recommend this channel, and then it makes life easier for everyone. Because then you can go and write your stupid ass brain somewhere else, and YouTube's not ever going to throw me in your circle of YouTube, and then meet the exact same result of you not being entertained because I didn't meet your obscene demands. <laughs> I think this is the most actually angry I've ever gotten on a, on a video. <laughs> you know, you, you, you just... <laughs> you know, it makes me wanna... Makes me wanna... <laughs> so yeah, no. Make no mistake, you probably most likely can be doing better and if you're choosing not to you're part of the problem and shame on you actually if you like this video if you like me check out the channel check out another video you can subscribe if you want but make sure that the rest of this channel is also something that you'd want to watch so maybe don't even subscribe on this video but subscribe on another video after you've watched that one too leave a like if you liked or agree leave a dislike if you're a little bitch who doesn't want to change and leave a comment down below please Please leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts, feelings, opinions, anything I may be like misguided on my perception of, whatever. What you'd like me to talk about next, any points that you could potentially like give to a following topic, anything like that, really appreciate it. Put it in the comments down below. Do that. Please, actually. I'm gonna brief pause for the music. Ugh. I watched the video to the end. There's a funny meme I put after the outro every time. Now go away. Let's get some pussy tonight.